The Sundance Film Festival opened in sober, serious mood and now seems to be lightening up. Having sat through three back-to-back -back films about terrorism, we were in need of a, a little frivolity. And the battered bastards of baseball provides that in spades. Once long ago, Kurt Russell's dad Bing defied the odds and irked the establishment by setting up an independent baseball team called the Mavericks in Portland, Oregon. The Mavericks had beer guts and cigarettes and a dog that would chase the ball out onto the field. And yet, incredibly, they broke attendance records and gave the major leagues a run for their money. The Battered Bastards of Baseball, shot by Bing's grandsons and Kurt's nephews, is an uproarious, sweaty salute to the real-life bad news bears. The only downside about watching The Battered Bastards of Baseball was that it clashed like a clown on a unicycle with the trip to Italy which reunites Steve Coogan and Rob Brydon for another gastronomic adventure. Happily, Henry Barnes was able to throw himself into the breach. The trip to Italy has Steve Coogan and Rob Brydon on the road again, driving towards the Amalfi Coast in the service of the Observer newspaper. They chase the legacy of Byron and Shelley around Naples, get stuck in a Roman traffic jam. They still bitch and bicker, but it's done with warmth and affection, like a homosocial version of Linklater's before movies. The impressions are present and correct. The restaurants deliver food that looks more sumptuous than ever, but the bitterness is absent and I kind of miss it. Perhaps it's the sun or the wine or the gobsmacking scenery. But Coogan and Bryden seem happy, and I'm not sure it suits them. Thanks to Henry there. And in keeping with the sunny, freewheeling tone, our last film is God Help the Girl. It's a kind of Umbrellas of Glasgow musical, written, scored, and directed by Bell and Sebastian frontman, Stuart Murdoch. The Umbrellas of Cherbourg open up in Glasgow in this hyper-real, social realist heart warmer about a depressed girl who wants to start a band. Emily Browning is our heroine, but one suspects she's really just a surrogate for Murdoch himself, who writes the lovely songs she passes off as her own. She's recording her material on C90 cassettes. She's referencing episodes of Dennis Waterman's Minder. That show hasn't aired since before she was born. That's it. Sun's out, sky's blue. We still haven't gone skiing, but it's all to play for. See you tomorrow. <laughs>